starting recording this um, opportunity um, for yoga experiments if you are wondering the name what it means yoga pro yoga i wanted to share one quote and i will also share it on the screen you may know it from previously it's a quote from einstein not everything that counts can be counted and not everything that can be counted counts and i like this because yoga you can't count it but knowledge you can count the points points of knowledge you can count the number of years someone has been associated with spiritual knowledge but this um, feels like everything is invisible and what really matters is the power behind the accumulated experience of yoga and it's often said in the readings in the morning early that there needs to be power in the sword of knowledge so often it's not so much what we say but the stage from which it comes so I'm personally looking forward to um, deepening the experiences and understanding of this invisible side of yoga, invisible friend and also invisible enemy of the soul. So as always, we really encourage um, your participation, your reflections, experiences and comments, feel free to type and uh, looking forward to sharing this space for the next three days. So I'm going to welcome Brother Prashant. Thank you. Hello and uh, good morning from here. Very nice to connect again. <coughs> <clears throat> Let us start with a few moments of silence again. Thank you. I was going to read just a few lines from the Murli of today. And uh, <clears throat> there will be a few things we will be coming back to Murli because that is what um, our guiding, guiding principles are. The sign of being free from bondage is to be constantly yogi yukt. So yogi life, why are we practicing yogi life? To be free from bondage. Yogi yukt children, those who are yogi, are free from the bondage even of responsibility and so are free from maya. <clears throat> Let there not be any bondage even at the level of mind. Even worldly responsibilities are like a game. So play the game with happiness. Follow the rules of the game. And you will never get tired 
because of trivial matters. If you consider it to be a bondage, you will be distressed. Questions what, why, these questions will arise. However, the father is responsible. You are just an instrument. Become free from bondage with this awareness and you will become Yogi Yogyakta. Even in our program of yoga, this, this, um, these three days, emphasis will be on yoga. There will of course be opportunities for discussion. <clears throat> but in any case, our <clears throat> knowledge is aimed for, for yoga. So if we are to see our why, why do we need this yoga? The word used here was free from bondage. We have seen at different times in our earlier discussions that our famous world, physical world, we said this world that we are given, it's a gift. <clears throat> it's a gift for the soul. Soul is independent, soul is immortal, so he has his own world. And if you are given something, it is a gift. He doesn't need it, he is given this whole physical world. So this box that is given, it is a PlayStation, it's a game, as was read just now. It is also a holiday for you, for the souls, it's a great holiday. You don't stay on holiday forever, it's a temporary holiday. It is also a great story, it's a great drama. It's a circus, free. Everything is free. That's why gift. It's also a film. What is it? What, what, what more? It is all of this. It's a play, it's a PlayStation, it's a game, it's a holiday, it's a story, great drama, one of different scale. And each of these is true. It is not metaphorical. It is literally a great performance given to you. It's a great circus. You know, someone on a motorbike uh, riding on the pavement at a speed of 100 miles. There's a circus going on all around you. What else is it? You can type your answers. There's something else also. Okay, any answers? A trap, a graveyard, a journey? Sure, you know, if someone has mentioned. Roller coaster, yeah. gift, field yeah. of action, a web. Okay. Yes. Possibly someone might have said it. Yes, it is also a web. You know, so just like anything, it has always a negative side. Car is a wonderful gift, but car can also be a weapon. Some terrorist can use your car as a weapon. So also here, this is a gift, but if I am careless, if I cross the line, it becomes a web. At present, all our 7.8 billion human beings, all the souls, 
we are in the web. We have crossed the line. And we are, the, the suffering is only because of the web. Something that is meant as an extraordinary gift, we have changed it into a problem. So, here is the extraordinary gift, great thing. How do we create bondage? Okay, it has become a web. This web is such, it is not sticky. And no one is holding me in the web. I am the one who holds to these strings. I, I choose to get caught in the web. This is a this is an option we have in this web. So how we, do we find ourselves caught in this web? Because it is our choice, we have the answer. That's why you can become yogi, then become free. There is no one running after you to hold you there. So how do we get caught in the web? Do you want to give some words that make the soul get trapped in the web. We lose our self in it, attachments. Yes. The word time is written. It was also thinking identification. We truly believe that's who we are, who we are. Ideas, desires. Um, someone wrote honeypot. Sure, very Illusion. good, very good. So it is, let us take an example. There is a cloud, and then that cloud, it is there, and I'm here. That cloud disappears, or that cloud is gone. It doesn't give me sorrow. You know, another cloud comes, sure, and there's no cloud, sure. Then it means there is a freedom. There is a cloud and there is freedom. There is a cloud, I just create an expectation. That, that cloud will not change colors for the rest of the day. I just create an expectation. Just with that expectation, I am trapped now. I create a bondage because next thing is the color changes and then that cloud is in a position to give me sorrow. So, just creating expectation, I create a bondage. Next thing I can start to believe that that portion of the cloud is my cloud because it is right above my garden. You know, so you can um, uh, believe that that is my portion. You know, because it is about my garden, so it is my cloud. So the moment you have put the label my to it, then you are at another level of bondage. Because if that cloud disappears, you feel, oh, my cloud is gone. No one can stop me from believing this. Like it is my choice to put label my, my to and the clouds also, and uh, in the stars, galaxies, I can put the label, which is my belief. So here, I put a label my. And I can go to another level, and I can start to believe that my self-respect is based on that cloud. I'm important because that cloud that is above my garden, it is so wonderful, so I am important. I give myself self-respect. But even another level is I define myself based on the cloud. That is, you know, bizarre situation, but still possible. That cloud is me. And that's what you call identification. Will you believe this? We are doing all these four things in connection with this box. That's why our degradation is extreme. These souls who are extremely noble and angelic, they start creating 
so many expectations in this world. It can be, you know, from your the people, you may have very good reasons for it. But it is a story. You are not from that world. Your world is different. And you start creating expectations, start to own things in this temporary story world. You give yourself self-respect based on anything. So some give self-respect based upon the car, based upon shoes, based upon country. It can be your dog. One person gives himself importance because the dog is so wonderful. You know, it can and then we create ego based upon things. These are all bondages. To create a bondage, it is a deception. Animal bird that creates bondage, what happens next? They just suffer. You know, when they are free, they are happy. You know, create a bondage and you are trapped. You know, all who want to uh, deceive someone, another animal, they will live a bait and uh, trap them. They create a, get them into a bondage. So here, if anyone gets into a bondage and more bondage, that means he's not clever. Some, it, it, it starts with intellect, intellectual degradation, and then you create a bondage. Our aim, using knowledge, using paras, become free from it. That is our, our method. So the word used is yoga yukt. And that is a nice word. So here you are now understanding knowledge when you are using paras intellect, game changes quickly. We are not going to remove one bondage and then another expectation and this uh, ego. That is not our aim. One expression Baba uses, liberation in one second. It's a game of one second. So let us understand this. The, our you know, confusion and come out of it in one second. So Paras has that power. You are understanding, waking up. Waking up that you are not that, you know, things from the cloud. Any identification created here, you know, see the extreme nature of the ignorance. Just like someone thinks he's the cloud, in the same way, if you define yourself based on the story, it is because we have gone collectively in that extreme level of ignorance. We used the example in the past, since you are acting in a camel and elephant drama for five minutes or 10 minutes, and you start to really believe you are the camel, then, then it is what that is what we mean by crossing the line, ignorance, <clears throat> and then ego. I, identification means this: you think you are the camel and you've forgotten who you are. But Jivan Mukti in one second, we are waking up and understanding the truth, understanding the bigger picture, using the best intellect, and free from this camel elephant. It's a game of understanding. You want to say anything? We can create a few minutes of, and then we create some experiments, prayog. Do you want to ask anything, say anything?
that was a quick revision. just a comment that it's a useful reminder the expectations owning a sense of value or self-respect identification with the box of drama creates attachments um, there's no other comments there is a comment because the soul lost energy we're becoming ignorant Good. So let us create um, our little short practices. And first thing we emphasize our game starts with the best intellect. Let us understand we have the option to use Paris. And Paris is the uh, ability to see what you see or that on the screen, to see that old picture. That is Paris. Paris can see the bigger map. The opposite of Pat Paris is Patar. Patar cannot see beyond the drama. Is so caught up into some petty things in the drama that is Patar. So you are seeing the bigger map, you are understanding what is subtle, you can see what is subtle. Patar cannot see what is subtle. That's why when we use Paris, in one second, game changes. Because now you're understanding the whole physical world as a story. And how absurd that anyone creates any expectation in a story. What does it matter what happens in the story? And some episodes finish and another episode starts. That's the way the stories are. So there is nothing to complain in a story. Nothing to be obsessed about in a story. With Paris, we can step behind the story. That is already freedom. If you don't need to think of the story, it is freedom. If you are not drawn, pulled again and again, it is freedom. Maybe for one minute, but that is the way it starts. You are free. There are things going on, but your mind is free. This freedom, because of the freedom, you can take your mind to this reality beyond the story. There is a story. Story is a fiction. The real world is always beyond the story. So we are coming to this world beyond and this is the world of silence. There is no noise of the story. This is the world. We see this world in the image of a sky.
we want to experience that freedom and we want to experience the mind of the mind that is free this sky and the color and the light that is visualization we take help of the visualization part to experience the spiritual So we see this dimension beyond the story and see this dimension of the sky, world of light, world of, this world is timeless, it is not like the story and story every episode has an end the world beyond is timeless and changeless and endless We'll create this short, short experiment, short exercises. Feel free to to understand uh, the question in, the, in every aspect. But if it is clear, you will be able to put it into practice. We'll, otherwise, we'll continue with the practices. Our program now this is for our this life you know the the spiritual life emphasis is quality quantity will follow which means one minute if you are practicing go for the best concentration best practice we said here, Jivan Mukti, complete liberation in one second. So you don't go for the second best on the, on the first day. Go for the best first minute. Aim for that. And you will find it is possible. That's why you know, where we have to go for the best intellect. When you are using the best intellect, and then with this intellect, first thing happens, you understand the story a story. Just for one minute, you are seeing this is a story. Then there are no questions why someone did this or why, you know, in a story, you don't say why that camel behaved like this and why lion said this in a story. It is, it is irrelevant what happened, what does the way the script is written. <clears throat> There is one author here by the name Jeffrey Archer in you know, Cambridge. And someone asked him, in such and such a novel, why did this uh, one character did this? He should have done something else. And Jeffrey Archer said, yes, of course. 
and that will be in a different novel. <laughs> in this novel, it is like this. You know, that, that, that will be a different story. So we are dealing with this story. And so the question, why doesn't it exist? You know, just you watch. That is the way the script is. Clap and go home. Drama is like this. When it is a story, no one creates attachments in a story. No one creates ego. And there are no traumas in a story. Story, it is so different. You are able to step out. In one second, you are out of this. You are able to understand what soul consciousness is in one second. Prashant, right now Prashant is talking this, but Prashant is part of that story. Soul is observing this story club and uh, understands his complete freedom. Yes, any, any comments? Anyone want to add anything, say anything? Yes, we have a couple of comments coming up um, from the Spanish group. It is easy to stabilize in Paris and in the home in the times of meditation, but how to maintain it in your actions in the story? Yes, as we said, we start with one minute, one minute of quality. We have to make the Paris strong. The game is here. We all have Paris, but it is not strong. Just like we have different muscles, and uh, if muscles are not used, they are not strong and then you cannot run a marathon on the first day. But you start, you know, in the short distance, five minutes, one mile, two miles, you start in a small way, and then you will find you can run a marathon in time. And you can take jumps, and you can deal with different situations. So we start with uh, one minute, but create many minutes during the day. Thank you. Um, Gail can type the question. Um, next, uh, visualization of spiritual truths. Is it okay? Because uh, you mentioned that earlier about visualization. Is it okay or um, can it be ego based? It will start as an ego base. And that is, that is the only option we have because our starting position is ego. Um, but as we uh, start the process and create the environment, soul will become conscious. So it is better ego does meditation than ego creates some other problem. It is better ego does meditation and go into a fight or create some waste thoughts. Thank you. Um, what happens in the soul world when a soul comes down to play in the physical world? Is there a change there? <laughs> and that world is when we are seeing in time you know, the four dimensions. Four dimension that is beyond time. The soul world is timeless and changeless. It's beyond time. So no change takes place in it. But uh, broadly we can say the consciousness comes in the drama in time, in a time dimension. Maybe today may not, may not be the uh, occasion to go into the details, 
but no that we are seeing in a, this world is a four dimensional world sure and um, you mentioned the word freedom what does that mean exactly just like anyone who is free let us take the example there is a there is an olympic medalist and he is very clever and he has got amazing skills but if he is tied with a rope then he cannot do anything he got skills but he cannot do anything on the contrary even a cat and a rat can come in you know scratch him you know can hurt him he is helpless if he becomes free then he has got skills he can get gold medal but if he is tied he cannot do anything he can just suffer and others can give him sorrow also he cannot protect you same happens here soul when we are talking about the soul he is a extraordinary being he is literally a being of bliss and love and he is angelic and uh, he is a being of wisdom and creativity but when he is tied in this web he doesn't experience his bliss and he cannot experience his love and he cannot experience his creativity the wonder that is within him he cannot experience he can only experience some worry about here and there and some ignorance and uh, create some attachments it is he behaves in a unlike him he is a prince but here he behaves like a slave and behaves like a beggar unlike him just because he is trapped when he becomes free no one can hurt him no one can you know deny him anything he experiences his greatness bird that is free can experience his greatness here it is even bigger multiplied by many times more thank you um another question when to stop and take corrective action otherwise you will go more and more into the downward spiral now <laughs> now is the time the moment we understand we start the process and there was one prime minister here you know many years ago you know he was asked why did you change the policies you know you suddenly change the policies he said once you realize you are in the wrong direction make a u turn now there is no point in being stubborn i am right and continue going into wrong direction for another one mile then you are in bigger problem so make a u turn now so now is the time to change we are creating this minutes minutes by understanding the the direction has to change i don't want to continue in that other direction great hope that answers the question maybe deep wants to type more um question from karen there are two stories 
the gross and the subtle, the, the subtle, the one in the mind, and gross, the physical world. How does Paris intellect handle these two worlds? Yes, in the moment you understand uh, the story, the, the nature of the story, then mind is free from thinking about anything about this world. You are more interested in the real world beyond the story. Even what is happening in the mind, it is connected with this physical world. It is all about camel and elephant. So mind is free from that camel and elephant. It as if, like a, just in our ordinary life, for example, your life. How often do you think about camel and elephant? How do you imagine things or worry about them? You might have seen a drama. That's great. Clap and go home. You see Mickey Mouse. You don't keep thinking about it or worry about it because whole thing you know is irrelevant for the awake soul this drama is drama and is a story he has got the word of the father and the family and he got a mission and he got the truth then that is more uh, important for him than keep thinking about camel and elephant. This, if the Paris, if he has woken up, if the soul is not woken up, ego is the king, then ego has got nothing else to think about other than the camel and elephant. He will have many, many for things to worry about and imagine and uh, and uh, discuss and gossip. Ego has time for it. Let us create another few minutes of attention. And during this practice, we create four minutes, four steps. And these steps are aimed for nourishing in the soul consciousness. So step one, we are seeing the invisible traveler. We can practice this with eyes open, eyes closed, try both. Instead of mind going in a, any random, random location, now the mind is going, seeing, this invisible traveler. And we see this traveler in the image of a presence. If we can, if we are comfortable with it, we see the invisible presence. Or we may see it in the image of a point or a star. Whatever we can feel comfortable with. We are very clear this traveler is temporarily here. Very short time. We know he has an exit. Just like when you see any tourist in your town, you know he's going after a few hours. So 
So you are aware this invisible traveler has an exit. We are also aware this invisible traveler has his world beyond. Subtle, <coughs> allocic world beyond. Invisible traveler. We are just seeing this. Step two. Now the traveler becomes the observer. And he's seeing this world, knowing that he has an exit. He has no intention to create a bondage. Just uh, awareness that he has an exit frees him from the bondage. He doesn't want to own anything here. He doesn't want to cling to anything. He doesn't claim anything. He has an exit and he doesn't need any of these things from this camel world. He doesn't need anything in his journey. So he's the observer. He's a detached observer, naturally. Invisible invisible traveler is the invisible observer. For him, because he's so free, that helps him to appreciate this experience, just like any tourist. He feels every moment is a gift and uh, every sound appears like a gift and every interaction appears like a gift because he's a tourist invisible traveler is the invisible observer Step three, he sees this whole physical world as a completely different reality. Just like a fictional reality, story reality. Different reality means there cannot be exchange. Story, you cannot buy anything from that world. So this traveler understands this world really is a story for him. You can watch it, but he doesn't want to take anything with him, cannot even take anything with him, but just be the observer. So this invisible traveler is seeing this world as a story. During these minutes, one minute or a few minutes, he sees everything as a story and really a story. That's the way he sees. And when it is a story, there are no traumas in a story. Even though the practice is now for one minute, during that minute, he as if resolves the whole thing of the past and the future. Everything gets resolved because it all happened in a story.
There is nothing to complain, nothing to worry. No one creates ego in a story. This is the perspective of the of the invisible traveler. Prashant is within that story, one character in the story, which may be deleted in the next episode. In fact, which will be deleted. Invisible traveler sees the story a story with 100% freedom. The word story helps him to attain 100% freedom. Step four. We understand the reality beyond the story. The traveler comes beyond. And beyond the story is silence. The traveler is in this silence. No noise of the story. This dimension is uniqueness of this dimension. It is story free. It's a different reality. As I said, story is one reality. This dimension is beyond the story. That's why no noise, no thoughts of the story. That's why a world that is timeless and sky in a world where there is silence and solitude. Soul sees himself as the presence in this world. As we continue on our journey, we aim to stay awake. We understand the beautiful truth of the traveler. Just want to, we will be taking a break and meeting in the rooms sometime soon. But just to know, we are just aiming for minutes, minutes. This is what our aim is. And congratulate yourself. You create one minute of quality. Congratulate. And collect, go on collecting these minutes as we continue further, you yourself will feel like you want to do something more or that, that will come inside. But minutes and minutes are enough. But in this game, we use the word expression, nourish. There is a higher consciousness, something that is higher, and there is something that is lower. Let us use these words, higher and lower. Lower is of course ego and Ravan and all that is lower consciousness. It is, this foundation is ignorance. 
you know, Arthur Stone intellect is a precondition for it. Higher intellect, we are talking about soul, angel, you know, that the direction leads to the experience of truth and bliss and uh, love and freedom from vice, uh, love from God, knowing God, mission of God. See, there is a different game in this higher consciousness. What is our meditation? Meditation is to nourish this higher consciousness. That is what we want to create. Accurately nourish. So thoughts of the home, thoughts of the supreme friend, uh, directly becoming soul conscious, some accuracy. Um, there are certain things that nourish that, that consciousness. Paris definitely provides the environment to nourish. Then you are clever, you are your friend. But there are other things that nourish the lower consciousness that we want to avoid and prevent. Certain lower excitements, excitements from the drama, they actually nourish the lower consciousness. They are the, like a baits. They are Ravan's happiness, different heads of Ravan. We said, you know, one head of Ravan will be caught into another person one head is caught into some food or cigarettes. And it is not that we can, we can keep that going and also experience God. No, one, uh, one prevents you from experiencing the other. Deeper inside, it is like, you know, darkness and light. So if there's some why would everyone is a soul, why they are not experiencing their greatness? Because this lower consciousness blocks it. Ego is blocking it. So in this journey, we take these very clear steps to stop feeding the lower consciousness, our actions. And, uh, know more about this, find out in what way, but it is like a common sense. There are certain things that feeds lower consciousness and hates of Ravan. If that is done, you will also find every time you are taking a step to stop the lower consciousness, instantly it is replaced with higher happiness. Instant. In the, the, over here in Cambridge, we used to have projects sometimes to, to help uh, smokers give up smoking or this kind of thing. And what they used to observe to their surprise, they stopped smoking, but now they are more happy. And sometimes the question is to come from them. How come I'm more happy? I thought I would be miserable but I'm more happy now. And what has happened is you remove one head of Ravan. Ravan is embodiment of sorrow. And that's, so you are removing the demon from inside. It is replaced in the angel can spread its wings. You know, that. So you understand this game. We work on the higher, but we also have to stop the low. Is it a good time to go take the break or rooms? Yes. Any any questions, um, comments? To add anything? I think it's a good time. There's no immediate questions, um, but we can um, can definitely take any comments that were made after the break. Do you want to suggest a sort of focus? The four steps 
to to see the relevance and uh, and how to nourish the higher consciousness this is our aim and uh, what we are calling soul consciousness and uh, being awake different words are used but we want to what are, what is working for you That's clear. Thank you. I think most people connected are familiar with the discussions. Also, if there is time, or you can choose the bondages, you know, the, how the bondages are created and how you are experiencing freedom from bondages. Are we seeing the bondages? The scale of bondages. So in summary, what's working for you? Hmm. How are bondages created and how are you experiencing freedom? And also you said, has one understood the scale? On both sides. I think most who are connected know about the rooms, but just in case someone is new, we have uh, around 10 minutes and it's a chance to share. So and there may be someone in the room who will facilitate, but if not, if someone is just there to make sure everyone gets a chance to speak and uh, encouragement to use the camera. And uh, if you wish to, um, to take a break, have a cup of tea in 10 minutes, then just click later so we know Everyone in the room is available to share and we'll meet back. Um, Thank you, Sarah. Um, yeah, it was very nice to be, to share in the group. And um, uh, generally there was this um, experience in the group of having this clarity so um, also using cars to to discern but actually it's very um, clear and then one goes up naturally from the lower consciousness to the higher consciousness and um, but also having this clarity what are the bondages one shared that about the comfortable situations then want to run away and now is the realization hey no need to run away anymore and um, also for me self it is really uh, to be awake and then uh, not to feed anymore the characters or the roles or to go into the drama and the story and it naturally silence your experience it to feel to feel this freedom and it's um, very natural and fulfilling so yeah it's really like staying awake and one important thing is to do the experiment really early mornings to see the self seeing from that higher perspective or higher consciousness and then it is very quick present during the day Thank thanks you. karen it's actually a simple formula and when you were speaking it was making me think also the comfortable situation is the um obstacle uncomfortable but maybe more so comfortable we're getting too um, caught up with the ch chicken coop. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, simple formula. I'm also going to invite uh, Dusha, who's connecting from. Um, well, you can tell us where you're connecting from <laughs> to make sure I get it right. Hi, 
it is uh, complicated, <laughs> yes. Uh, at the moment, I'm connecting, connecting from uh, Macedonia, which is uh, southeast of Europe. Um, in the group, we discussed uh, how to increase the awareness of being an invisible traveler. So we were suggesting, um, of course, during meditation, increasing the awareness, but also more, more practically in, uh, uh, during the day, uh, to everything that we connect, uh, or everything that we do regularly, uh, during the day anyway, like how many times we drink water. Of course, some, some uh, souls have the fortune to live in centers so they have traffic control. However, <laughs> to, to remind themselves who they are, that they don't belong here. But um, if that's not possible, then for example, we drink water all the time. We'll, uh, every time I drink water, I, you know, I try to remind myself. Uh, Every time I log into uh, so many devices that I log into during the day, I always uh, put a password that is going to remind me what I'm working on. In this case would be, I'm a traveler. <laughs> so you know my password now. Uh, <laughs> or, you know, every time you do something, uh, like the other day in the Muli, Baba suggested that, you know, every time we say thank you, because we say thank you so often during the day, Every time we say thank you to remember, I'm a traveler, I don't belong here. And so kind of practical, practical uh, things we can do to raise the awareness because we have been body conscious for too long time, life in, life out. So we need to do uh, too many, 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 many reminders to reshape our awareness. <laughs> Hope it's okay. Yes, yeah, thank you. You have to change the password now, though, I think. <laughs> I like that practical reminders and uh, the things which every day actually do remind us if we're kind of alert to see it. And um, yeah, thank you. It's, a, it's an interesting one that everything is really a gift. Nice. I was also, I liked what was shared um, uh, in the meditation. The experience resolves the past and also the anxiety around the future by experiencing this as a story. And um, helpful because it's so easy to get caught in wanting to resolve the story, but actually that experience is, is resolving it. And then of course we are free to act, but not from the um, big emotions. So really nice and be nice to hear uh, any other thoughts that you'd like to acknowledge in the chat box. So we'll come back to the practice. We'll come back to Prashant. Hi. And I thank you for the sharings. Um, very very nice to see Karen and Dusha. Hello. I might like to, you know, underline one aspect. This letter I that is used by us, which is um, I of the ego, helplessly, because that is the way we have used in the story. And, uh, and we have to avoid that letter I, especially during the meditation part. We may not need to change our language and the language may continue in a certain way. But when we are dealing with the soul, statement is right. When you are saying, I am a soul, that, that is not a wrong statement. Let me go back to the board. You know, say, if this letter is written, I, and if there is a sentence, I am a soul. Is there Maya in this sentence? 
anyone want to say? What is the Maya here? It's a very straightforward sentence. You know, I see there is a Maya in this. And what is the Maya? This letter I is used for the ego. So ego is there, you know, he's really talking about this I, when you are using the word I. He's talking, he's talking about the body, camel. You know, that is what is I for ego, camel. So he says, I, yes, sure, you know, the one I from the story. And then he says, I am a soul. That is the way it gets heard subconsciously. So you are still very much in the camel identity and just putting the label soul on top of it. Our whole idea is to tell yourself you are not a camel, you are a soul. That is what you want to shift. But with our language, we are kept in this in this old identity, just a label is put, soul. And this is why we have to observe when it comes to soul practice, you know, you are coming to the soul awareness, change the language, start with the soul. Instead of I am a soul, Start with the soul, experience the soul, experience the greatness of the soul, and use the word I later. That that is I, you know, soul am I, rather than I am a soul. Because we want to first see the wonder of the soul and then put the label I to this. At a very practical level, we may have to avoid the letter, say traveler, it is enough. I, I am a traveler, then the message comes in a, in a, with a mixed, mixed message. Prashant is a traveler, this kind of, that is the way it will be heard subconsciously. So for a period of time, the word objective, objective med meditation. See, you know, objective way, this whole uh, journey. Then the experience will be deeper. You know, we mentioned earlier, you know, there is a visualization, there is a imagination, but at the spiritual aspect we want to experience not stay just at the level of visualization experience has to become deeper and if it is ego i i i if it is ego is mixed then experience will be stopped there will be nice words you know love and this you know happiness his words will be there, but the deeper experience will be stopped by the ego. And this is a way to bypass the ego. Objective. So if we have to come back to this four step practice, let us come back to that four step. You will see the letter I is not used anywhere. Right from the word go, we are seeing that invisible traveler. He, we are seeing him, invisible traveler. Invisible traveler is passing through this physical world. He has an exit. Great, you know, this invisible traveler. He is seeing this physical world. Great, he is seeing many things. He is a tourist. Step two. The traveler is seeing this world. Not I, I is not used. The traveler is seeing this world. Traveler is seeing this world, knowing that he has an exit. 
traveler knows his temporarily here. We are seeing the perspective of that soul. We are talking about the soul, just a language, traveler. Traveler is seeing this world with complete detachment, complete freedom. <clears throat> he knows he has an exit, so he doesn't create any attachments. <clears throat> Traveler is finding every moment is a gift for him. Invisible traveler. Traveler sees this world as a story, as a drama. <clears throat> we are experiencing this, the feelings of the traveler. What the traveler feels if it is a drama in the and Prashant and all is in within the drama. <clears throat> so you are not using the letter I to anything in the drama either, because that is a blatant uh, confusion. That is the Prashant there, that is the drama characters. They, they are like camel and elephant there, characters of the drama. And the invisible traveler comes back to his world of light and understands his world of silence, his world of stillness. Invisible traveler has his world. His life is with God and his life is with the family of souls. He's from that world and it is completely separate. It is not, uh, these are two different realities. Story is one reality, this world is a different reality. There cannot be exchange or mixture between these two realities. But uh, we can see the traveler can come and see this story reality, can be the observer, but nothing else. So just keeping your attention, avoiding this uh, letter high and being objective, you will find it, it helps to grasp soul consciousness without mixing it with ego. Know that in this game, ego wants to survive. And once ego realizes you are making this spiritual effort, ego wants to mix with your soul consciousness. <laughs> You go on to say, yes, yes, I am more soul conscious than anybody else. So that is the intention of ego. And we can easily, you know, fall, fall into the trap of the ego by using the letter I and then all mixed up. Then you are thinking you are soul conscious, but ego is getting bigger. <clears throat> so what, what is happening as you are doing this, seeing the soul, seeing the journey of the soul, the traveler, invisible traveler, he is detached, invisible traveler is loved by God. You are just seeing, you are not rushing to put the label, I, I am loved by God. No, invisible traveler is loved immensely by God. He is worthy to be loved, not I. You know, so you, you are avoiding that language. What will happen deep inside you, you will notice it very, very quickly, a new I will take birth. And that is what we want. A soft identification happens with this soul that we are seeing. And that is new, clean, not the ego that was there before. 
And what does this mean in a soft identification? You know, so let me give an example of this. Say you are watching a film and in the film there is someone, you know, one character. First second, you, you were completely detached. You are quite happy to see what is happening and go out, come in. But if you are watching that for half an hour, one hour, now whatever happens to the character, you may even cry and you may even feel happy. You know, people do cry when they are watching the film. What has happened? You are identifying with one who is on the screen. A soft identification has happened within an hour. You're just watching it and you're identifying with it. It can be with a Bambi, it can be an animal, but you identify, feel as if it is you. We want that to happen with the soul. And for that, we don't have to rush to say, I, I am a soul, but see the soul clearly, see the greatness of the soul, see the attitude of the soul, see the relationships of the soul in an objective way. And then you will find without you even telling yourself, this is I. That is like a, you are in the right direction. We'll get a chance to experiment more uh, along these lines, but uh, reflect on this. And uh, we will hear any comments. Uh, feel free to uh, type your questions also. If not today, we'll take them over, over these next few days. Just a question that came up from Ganesh. Um, is there feeling in the soul world? It is merged. The you know, soul world is a place, that's why it is called home of peace. It is supreme. It is the uh, highest, you know, because everyone is... Uh, being of bliss and peace and love, if they were, if it was all emerged, it would be like an explosion. But when they, you are actually there, it is merged. That's why this drama, it is like a gradually released. <laughs> if they were all together, it would be explosion. So it is well, one by one come in the drama and they are experiencing their greatness and bliss and love, tree expands. So this is where all the feelings, you know, and then they go through their phases, Satora, Jotamo, different phases, you know, so they gradually lose their, their greatness. And, uh, but yes, it, and the bottom line is it is merged in the home. But when it comes to our meditation, we use the language seed stage and we'll get a chance to, to experiment, know more about this in the next few days. Seed stage is the, is the experience where you are emerging that reality when you are in the drama. So you are experiencing the emerged version of the soul world whilst you are here. So that is a seed stage experience. When you are actually there, you know, that will be a time when it is merged. Thank you. Um, just a quick note on this. Is there another word for emerge and merge? Maybe in express and uh, you bring it out, that is emerge. And uh, say someone uh, has got a great 
quality music. Uh, he can when he's on the stage and he's uh, with the speakers and all, then it is emerged. When he's at home, <clears throat> he's still a musician, but he's home at home and uh, home. Someone is telling him, hey, "Wash these pots and this." He's a musician, but that music quality is merged. <laughs> He's washing the pots. Okay. I really liked this. Um, there's no rush to put an eye to the soul. But just to start by seeing the soul. Um, there's a question here. Is it okay to cry and get emotional? Or is it a sign of a weak soul for that moment when in those emotions? Um, cry with sorrow? I think so. Okay, let us take the example of crying with sadness. If the sadness comes, sadness comes, I know whether it, you have tears or suppress it or express it, I see not a huge difference in that. But what would be good is to understand that there's option not to feel sad. That option is there. And then the option not to feel sad, and of course, answer is soul consciousness. If all the sadness comes because of uh, drama. It can be identification, just like we are watching a film. You are identifying with the character on the screen. That is also wrong. You know, and uh, it is sadness. And so one who is stable in soul consciousness, he identifies with nothing. And so he, the feelings are of a different nature. But the crying can be framed with happiness, or we may use that word, crying with happiness. Tears may come with happiness. You know, like, uh, you know, coming back, you know, to your and that's some recognition of uh, your greatness and truth uh, coming back to what you have lost. And then all those create a feeling, um, higher experience, and it may create. Seeing greatness of someone else, you know, that it creates feeling of wonder and that, that creates tears. That is uh, positive. We don't necessarily encourage it, but if it happens, that is not a negative thing. That is not the same as sadness and crying. Thank you. It's a very full answer. Um, question from Karen. Can you... Um, clarify a little bit more when you said to see in an objective way or is there any other words or way of describing that? You know when we are saying he, he, you know he is going, it is in third person that becomes objective as if you are watching Instead of subjective, means I, I, I am the traveler, I am the observer. Then it becomes very subjective. Objective is in that you are seeing from, you know, as if you are obje observer of the whole thing. Even meditation, we have to start. If we start that way, then we bypass the ego and the experience will be deeper. <clears throat> In this context, the question from Sushma, can we use the word we instead of I? 
the, the results are still less. The uh, objective he is the best. <clears throat> and that there is no harm in trying any of these things. But the, if you want to go for the, the good results, experiment, experiment with this very objective and you will find that it connects you very quickly to, to that reality. And a comment from Karen, and um, similar to how uh, Baba often says Bap Dada as third person. Yeah, yeah, sure. So the understanding here is it, the emphasis was placed in yoga. So during day to day life, we need to use personal pronouns, but uh, more as an internal checking when that word is used where the consciousness is. Would you agree with that? No, I, I missed, uh, do you mind? So, um, the emphasis about not using the letter I is in the context of yoga practice, but during day-to-day -day life, we are, of course, needing to use I, but it's more um, checking the consciousness when it's being used. Good, good, very good. So there aren't, um, there is only a, a question really on a different subject, so nothing in the context right now. Sure. Um, let us create this, uh, this program for the next uh, three days. Let us have the aim, and, uh, let us choose these three days as uh, days of introspection means it is not just two hours we are having this practice and the rest of the time just goes in an ordinary way. Let there be an attention. And we are talking about something that is true. We are taking the soul out of that confusion and the ignorance you know, and uh, bondage. So even right now, this drama is going on. Prashant is talking and maybe that that is drama going on. Even whilst there's drama going on, as if the invisible soul is observing this drama. This attention, you, you might lose it, but aim to come back to that attention. Try and understand this invisible traveler is that we have to nourish it. We have to nourish that uh, perspective. We have to nourish that consciousness. You may grasp it for five seconds, 10 seconds. That is a good news. If there is an extrovertedness, then you will lose it very quickly. You will go into one, one expansion into other expansion. Here you are aiming to, that is your most important thing during these three days, to nourish that higher perspective. That is all. More your soul awareness becomes stronger than the remembrance of the father and the home, that will become of a different quality. God, is a big thing. We don't use it loosely because just like I, I is used by ego, the word God can also be used by ego. But here, in the, let us start with the, with the wonder of the soul and uh, nourishing that perspective. And note beforehand, it will not be constant. You lose it, but it's okay. You are nourishing it, creating seconds, minutes. And now and then create this program where one minute 
you are giving it full attention, minute of quality. We'll create a few minutes of attention now. So during these minutes, we are using the best intellect. And in a second, we are seeing on one side, there is a drama and a story or everything that happened today, it happened in that drama. Mm -hmm. And by drama, we are seeing it is no different to camel and elephant. We don't expect any logic or any justice. Drama is a drama. Past or present, everything was a story. And nothing really matters. Of course, we, when we act, we act uh, with that our, our attention, but bottom line, it's a drama. We come behind the drama. And behind the drama is the world of silence. There is no noise of this drama, no commotion. World of complete stillness. We see this in the image of the sky. world of light, world of silence. World that is timeless. Timeless, changeless, endless. This environment, if we call it Paris environment, favors the soul. It help, helps the soul to become conscious. And for the conscious soul <clears throat> to be that presence is normal. To be immortal is normal. To belong to that sky is normal. Conscious soul is conscious. For him, it is so obvious, the whole story is free from that story. He finds it absurd anyone would create any bondage in that story. He is like the master of this, this world one who is conscious. He knows he is worthy to be loved by God, belongs to God. He needs nothing. That story, he needs nothing from that story. He feels full he got the best. His, his life is with God. The 
subtlety and this allochic dimension is normal for him. As he continues on his journey in the sky, or if he is that invisible traveler in the story, he remembers this truth. There is no reason he should forget this truth. He understands the importance of being conscious. and being free. Om Shanti. Shanti. Thank you. Mm. The invitation was to create time to make this next 24 hours uh, very valuable. I don't know if Prashant wanted to add anything to that. But uh, an inner checking as the drama goes on. Yeah, we in a sense, we mentioned you know, in the last uh, passage, yeah, we used the word introspection. Um, the revision of some of the things we read, we discussed. But this last part, last three minutes that we shared, the soul that is conscious, and you know, he sees to be aware, come back to this in different ways. But energy of fun. There is introspection, but uh, with light. If you forget completely, that is also okay. Accept. Nice. Yes, we just keep a keep a little record and keep it light. Keeping the atmosphere of Paris to help the soul to be awake. So enjoy and. Um, We'll connect again tomorrow. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.